When you add the shit up, it will land correctly. Bro, tell me! Without the shit up, it's doomed. <laughs> yeah, according to Free Willies. I don't even know if I'm ready to ask the reason why a man calls those nah, shoes you know, you know, you know the, the Free Willy. What size see. you wear? That 12 UK. 12 UK. So we're the same size. So he's gonna he's gonna quickly send those ones to my yard. I'm gonna send you my details, bro. Okay. I'm gonna send you my details because I need them here. Yes, yes, my people. Big pros at back again. You already know sneakers and crepes. We are here, Crep Collection Club, where sneakers and art combine. I'm here with an illustrious guest. You get me? Flex. God, Daps. Daps. Thank it's so guys. amazing to have you here, yeah, my guy. You. I appreciate it, man. Thank it's you, so thank amazing you. to have you. First time here. I know you're like Northwest more. You get me? Like yeah, well, now you're yeah. now you're into, you're fully international. You get me? But I'm everywhere. I'm you're, everywhere. You're, you're in Kent today. You get me? You've come First down. Time. Tell us what you think about the store. Nah, you know what? what I'm the store is very well, very well done. Very impressive. You guys are doing a lot out here. Got a great collection. Great logo, great branding. We like that. A lot of good work here. Does anything kind of strike out to you at the I've moment? I've seen a few, I've seen a few. I'm yeah. saying like... The off-white fours look kind of crazy. The off-white fours. I've done a few Scadbad's foot. It's, it's got a bigger foot and that's a woman's only, so we might have to see if they've got you know a larger the Women's have the best colours though. Right, the women, it's crazy. And to be honest, they, they the deserve best. it. Why not? I'm saying, why not? Why not? Let the women why win. Not? I'm not letting them win. The women are winning. They're, they're winning. You were born in, in Lagos, Nigeria. Yeah. So I took all my Niger crew. Came over to the UK at a young age. Talk to me first of all, like, like about Nigeria, yeah? Is there like a sneaker sort of uh, a, a scene out there? Like, or did you leave er too early for you to really sort of be part of that thing? Nah, I left, I left way too early for that. But I'm sure there is now, and I'm sure there always has been, but I wasn't necessarily involved in that there. So like my main culture growing up was in, in England. So yeah, growing up in Northwest, what were the kind of kicks that you say represented the ends back in the day? If you grew up when I grew up, was the Prada. America's the low, Cup, yeah? The low Pradas. Hey. If you didn't have the Pradas with the Vistu jeans. With the Vistu Jeez, we're the same age. <laughs> if you didn't have the Avisu jeans, if you, didn't have, if you didn't have the Pradas with the Avisus, we used to go to Wembley Market, buy the fake Avisus, wrap it up and show that it. Cra that that crazy tick, bro. That, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that Wembley, crazy Wembley Market. Bro, shout before, out to Wembley, before, the, before the stadium got rebuilt, yeah. Why well, was like, Reebok Classic, you come out with the Pradas <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm saying, but that was the one that everyone wanted. That was the one you're trying to take. No, no, nah, real talk. Yeah, Classic was there. Air Max was hard as well. Air Max, Air Max 97. Mm. Um, and then uh, the, what do you call it? TNs. The TNs, one, the 110s, TNs. 120s. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah TNs that was doing tough. Yeah, those are, the, those are the hard trainers back then. Now, obviously, looking at what you're wearing today, man, obviously, you're a little drippy today, bro. Yeah, talk like to me about what you're wearing. Because like. I like this <laughs> day off. <laughs> it's a light day. I was there. I'm going to get to this wrist first. <laughs> nah, bro, this is nice. This is light. This is light. Oh, no, you say it's light, but it's pretty heavy from what I'm seeing. You get me? I might have to put glasses on in a minute. <laughs> but I know you've got a brand, yes. Gods. Talk to me about Gods, man. This is Gods from the corner. Basically, the whole premise of the brand, Gods from the corner, is that we're from the corner. Mm. And now we've elevated to an a unfathomable place. Amazing. Basically, the whole mantra of the brand is zero to hero. Zero how can, to how hero. can how can someone or something come from the low to the low and then go through all these challenges and then get to the upper echelons and still do it their way? So that's the essence of the name. Oh, God speaks to your from, story, God's man. That's amazing, corner. bro. You got a little light on with the Valencia, the speed runner, man. Talk to me about that. Yeah, I call these the free willies. I don't even know if I'm ready to ask the reason why a man calls those nah, shoes you know the, you know the, the movie. free willies. Nah, you know the movie, free willies. <laughs> I remember. Yeah, the killer whale. Killer whale, yeah. yo. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I respect yeah, come that. On. I respect that. Yeah, these are, these are, these are Cause I could have gone anywhere. The reason why I started buying and wearing these even more was because I had I had knee surgery in December. Oh, I hear that. So bro. I had my knee. I couldn't put my own shoes on by myself for a while. Wow. So I had to buy this like device on Amazon that my socks went in. I had to step inside it to put my socks on. So for a while I couldn't put my own shoes on. And I was a bit mad asking grown people to put my shoes on for yeah, me. That's a lot, man. So I thought these were the only shoes I could put on myself. All right, bro, let's move our way over to the. This is what I like to refer to as sort of our customization, right, or sort right. of our, our feature wall in the building. You get right. me? It's a beautiful wall. I think we can all agree. It's got a Amazing. lot of our sort of touching on that creativity. You're obviously world renowned as a music video and film director, shooting some of the, the biggest artists. Actually, I wrote down a list. I'm going to go down a list. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm going to hit you some big ones. Obviously, we've got the Migos on there, Davido, Travis Scott, yeah. Lil Uzi Vert, yeah. Stormzy, you know what I'm yeah. saying, like Cardi B, Nicki Minaj, Lil Baby, the Baby, bro. <laughs> and the list goes on and on. To get to the point you are now, bro, where did you come from, bro? Well, what was the thing that was like, yeah, this is what I need to do, this is how I'm gonna do it, and 
Oh, I'm here now. And there's been a lot of trials and tribulations, but I think the main thing for me is that, I mean, I've always been creative. Mm. And in my family, there's always been like an emphasis placed on extra activities. For us, it was always after school, what are you doing? Are you, mm. are you playing sports? Are you playing an instrument? Are you acting, doing drama, whatever? And then secondly, I just think just that, just that um, competition in my family as well. So I've got a lot of siblings that do well. It's like a friendly, healthy competition. So I've I got a lot of respect. I mean, I'm going to put it out there, full disclosure. I'm a Ghana man. This is a Nigerian man, you get me? Like, I'm saying like, we coexist, we love each other. It's all, it's all, all, it's all, all love, all you get brothers. me? It's all love, man. We're all brothers. <laughs> you get me? That's you know the thing. You know what, yeah? I don't even have this conversation anymore. I know what he's going to say. Because, because I'm actually a jollof connoisseur and expert. Yeah, yeah. They called my phone Say to, it. to no. judge at the Jollof Rice Festival yep. in LA. So here's the absolute unbiased truth. Ghana Jollof, when you add the shit off, it will land correctly. Bro, tell me! Without the shit off, it's doomed. It tastes like oxygen and tap water. <laughs> I was lying about the oxygen thing. Yeah, it's not no, horrible. Know that, man. But overall, horrible. the reason why people can't get over Nige jollof is because that it's so spicy sometimes yeah, that so they can't no. get through to the flavor part. The combo is done. No one talk about this ever again. It's over. One more for the Ghana. <laughs> <laughs> Some of the amazing things that obviously you're doing, Idris over there in America doing this thing. The other Idris, you get me, like, that's already been doing this thing. You get me, Michael Dapper's out here doing this thing. Like, you're part of an amazing scene of British talent that is reaching out to America and the other parts of the world. Like, yeah. what is it like to be part of that scene? And also, it seems like you, man, actually have like a brotherhood, like, you are cool. Yeah. You get me, what it's like to be part of that scene, bro? You know what? It's, it's amazing because growing up, we couldn't imagine UK black culture influencing black American culture or hip hop culture. So now that we're part of the conversation. It was hard back then to be a black creative and pay the bills full time. It wasn't even possible. Other than like some outliers, of course you had your So Solids, you yeah, had your Dizzy yeah, schools. Those yeah. were outliers. Yeah, but no, in I'm general, sure. people couldn't be a director full time and pay the bills or be an editor or be a producer. So now that there's engineers and there, like there's a whole ecosystem for us Amazing. where people can like do their passion, do their art while paying the bills. That's the biggest success story to me. It's great to be a part of it. I'm proud of everyone. You know, let's just keep getting it, keep getting it. So you know what, man? We're gonna wing our way over to the thing that Yeezy section. I wanna get your vibes. I wanna get your vibe on the Yeezy, bro. Obviously on the kicks, yeah. but also on the man. I don't know if you yeah. had the opportunity to work with him or it, is was, there an aspiration too? I, I was around him in 2012, almost every day for like two months, five days a week for two months. This is around Watch the Throne era. What you see is what you get. Like he's a he's a he's a hard worker. What do you think about obviously what he's been able to do in the in the sneaker space? What do you think of what he's been able to do with Adidas and obviously what he was originally able to do with Nike? It's unexplainable because it was just yesterday when people thought he was a madman for leaving Nike to go to Adidas and they thought he was why, who would, who would leave Nike? Lifestyle wise, yeah. Nike can't they be Adidas either. Into so the now they lean into the lifestyle part. And people thought he was a madman for leaving Nike. And now, like you said, didn't it? He jumped over Jumpman and then he actually surpassed it. It's crazy. We love a success story, man. Moving down the line, man, let's talk about some of these. And I want to get a, a, your perspective on another creative that I should say was yeah. like a massive influence on the scene and yeah. someone that will be sorely missed, Virgil Abloh. Yeah. Another, obviously, African man that was doing amazing things. Yeah. We look here, we've got the off white dunk. I'm I'm saying we've got part of the, the 50 that was there as well. Yeah. Talk to me, did you ever have an opportunity to work yeah, with yeah, Virgil? Yeah. The whole time in 2012, January, February, March, yeah, he was part of that crew. He was there well. as well. But he didn't have off white yet. Back then, it was him, it was Don C, it was Kanye. Mm. So I was around them every day and just seeing them work and just seeing how creative they were. And yeah, it's, 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 it's nuts to see where they, where they got to, man. While we're here, I'm gonna ask you some weird questions. And I say weird, they're not crazy. You might get some weird answers, but yeah, let's I'm go. Saying, I'm saying, let me yeah. just keep it moving. Like, you're in a desert island. Yeah. I mean, you don't know how you got there. But you're there. What two pair of shoes do you have on why? I'm gonna have the five finger shoes. The vibrant five fingers? Yeah. That's a real practical answer right there, my guy. Because they can get wet, you can pause, you can you can, <laughs> you can climb rocks, you can run in them. It's real very real. practical for Desert Island. Real practical. You don't want no fla flashy shit on Desert Island. And then I'll probably have something like the Crocs or the Wave Runners. You need that lightness, you know. When you say wave runners, are you talking about them ones? Sorry. Oh, the foam runners. foam runners. Foam runners, sorry. Foam runners. Yeah, something like that was on yeah. Crocs. You know, circulation, they can get wet as well. Exactly. You know? So your whole vibe is survival. wetland, dryland, wetland, dryland. Survival, dry land. Survival. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, all, okay. that, all that drip will get you killed. <laughs> Alright, that's a good answer. Very practical. Shows the analytical mind. Imagine you only are allowed to wear one shoe for the rest of your life. One trainer or one footwear? One trainer. Let's say one trainer. So I can still do other footwear. Alright, yeah. yeah. But when it trainer. comes to a trainer, yeah, yeah. this Fair. is it. Sure. I can only choose one. One? I would say it might be 
I've got these pair of Pierre Hardys. I've got the, um, the, the name of it, but the brand name is Pierre Hardy. You can wear that with anything. You can wear it up, you can wear it down. You can wear it with a, a suit, that, you can bro. wear it with trainers, track suit. Yeah, send shorts. me a picture of that, bro. I yeah, might Pierre Hardys are hard, yeah, yeah. I need that, bro. In fact, I almost wore it today, but I want to What size it. you wear? That 12 UK. 12 UK, so we're the same size. So he's gonna, he's gonna quickly send those ones to my yardie. I'm gonna whoa, send you my whoa, details, whoa, bro. Whoa, 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 okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm gonna send you my details, because I need them, Pierre. That's my guy. Thank you so much, man. Thank you so much. How can people connect with you? Like your IG, like how can people like just stay up to date with what you're doing? On all the socials, it's flex, God, daps. Flex like muscle, God like Jesus. Not, I'm not Jesus, I'm just saying God. Yeah. Make sure you get connected, stay connected, you get me, and support my man, because he's out here doing amazing things, he's part of an amazing crew that I'm trying to join, you get me, so I'm going to chat to him about my membership before he goes today. All right, man, we've been here, Crep Collection Club, you already know, man, it's your boy Pros at Sneakers and Art Combined. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell, do all of that great stuff, you get me, and stay connected with what we've got going on. We've got more content coming out with Flex, you get me, like, so don't... You know what I'm saying? Don't sleep. You get me? Daps is in the building. We've got more stuff coming. Stay connected and peace. What are you like whispering? Oh, nice calm, man. Bear We're not conspiring, bro. 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 Wait, wait, wait. When you bring fake shit around me, I get discombobulated. <laughs> but when you bring me the real shit, I can do with my eyes closed, apparently. <laughs> Either Jordan 1 lows. I'm going to need you These to... Are... One sec, one sec. These are... <laughs> Jordan 4s. Oh, he smashed it. Okay. <laughs> 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 he's managed it, he's managed it, we can't say that, and he's managed it. Ah!